Hello everyone, this is G and I'm back with another video. So this is going to be like super quick because it's just more to prove a point, especially to those who support uh, the Black Lives Matter organization, right? The one with an actual website, not necessarily the phrase. There's nothing wrong, wrong with the phrase of Black Lives Matter. Of course they do. Everyone's life matters. All lives matter. If you don't like that phrase, well then that's your problem, not mine. But I came across this tweet, which says uh, breathtaking dishonesty and then has a link to the BLM website about the death of Makia Bryant, which I've covered several times already. You already know how I feel about it. And if you don't, well, you can check, just check out the videos, right? But to summarize, you know, the young life lost because of her rage and her anger, she got what she got, what she brought upon herself basically, right? You attack two people with a knife, the police are there, the police are gonna do what they have to to stop you. But let's look at how BLM um, frames the situation, right? Because as the saying goes, perception is reality, right? So let's see how BLM frames and views the reality of this young girl's death, right? So. Here's their website, right? It says Makia Bryant. As you can see, here's the banner, here's the um, donate, resources, all this other stuff. Makia Bryant, right? So it says here, April 23rd, 2021, right? Three days ago now. At the exact same time, the verdict of Derek Chauvin was being read for murdering George Floyd. Police wasted no time in senselessly taking another black child. Makia Bryant. We say her name. Makia Bryant called the police for help. Columbus police officer Nicholas Reardon showed up and shot the 16-year-old child point blank within a matter of seconds. Another black life stolen with no regard. Together we're going to uplift, center, and honor this black child for what she loved. Doing her hair, making TikToks, and being a teenager. Her account is currently deactivated, but we've compiled a few of her TikToks on social media so we can all remember her joy. Makia's life mattered. So as we see here, they are clearly, clearly uh, framing what I would deem to be a very false narrative about this situation. I've covered it in like two or three videos already, so I'm not going to belabor the point. But yeah, this is an account exactly of what didn't happen. This is telling one side of the story. This is not acknowledging or rather, this is refusing to acknowledge. This is refusing to acknowledge the fact that Officer uh, Reardon's action saved the life of a young black woman who was absolutely defenseless when she was being attacked. It refuses to acknowledge the actions that Makia herself took that sadly led to Officer Reardon having to shoot and unfortunately led to her demise. They want to say that Makia's life mattered, and it does, and it did. But it should have mattered most of all to her. If anybody's going to care about your life, you are the first person who needs to care about it. She acted in reckless rage and anger, and unfortunately, it got her killed. Her own actions are what brought about her demise. And I will keep calling out this senseless, grotesque lying about what happened to her when she died. And more importantly, they talk about Makia Bryant, we say her name. Well, why don't they say the name of Jocelyn Adams, seven years old, shot to death in a drive-by shooting at a McDonald's in Chicago? Why don't they say the name of, uh, let me see, let me, let me look up her name. I never remember. One second. All right, I looked it up. It's Naira Givens, right? Why don't they say her name? Why don't they say her name? Why don't they say Jocelyn Adams' name? Why don't they say the name of David Dorn? So many lives that have been lost senselessly that BLM doesn't want to acknowledge because they don't want to admit, right? They don't want to acknowledge the deaths that are not sensational. They don't want to acknowledge the deaths that they can't use, right? 
Believe it or not, it kind of reminds me of, of an old garbage song called Stupid Girl, right? And there's a part where it's like, you, know, you don't believe in fear, you don't believe in faith, you don't believe in anything you, that you can't waste. This kind of reminds me of that. BLM will not talk about anything that they cannot manipulate, that they can't spin. And the media is the same damn way. They only keep mentioning this young girl's name because there's a narrative to it, right, of, of a white officer killing a young black girl. Who cares that another young black girl was saved? Who cares that the officer had no choice because, you know, real life is not a movie and you can't just slow down time and try to aim for non-vitals or shoot the knife out of her hand or whatever it is, right? I cannot stand this this refusal, this, I guess, intellectual dishonesty, right, and selective memory of the circumstances that brought about this young girl's death. And as I said before, I take no pleasure in her passing. I take no pleasure in it at all. But we have to stop lying about it. We have to stop lying about it. And we have to stop trying to give uh, the black community or pass or, or, or give bad actors who happen to be African-American a pass when they do something wrong, right? That's, everybody wants to talk about accountability. LeBron wants to tweet about accountability. I even saw a tweet early, earlier today where LeVar Burton says, oh, cancel culture doesn't exist. It's just consequence culture. So when are we going to hold people like Makia accountable for their own actions? When are we going to admit that her unfortunate death is a direct consequence, right, of the actions she took? When are we going to acknowledge that? When are we going to tell the truth about how and why this young girl lost her life? I'm all for calling out the cops when they get it wrong. And I, and I believe that we also have to acknowledge when they get it right. This girl's passing is sad, but her passing is her own damn fault. And as we can see here, BLM's re refusal to acknowledge that, refusal to, to acknowledge that a black life, if not several, if you think about it, because there were several people around the officer when he fired, yet, yet, yet he only hit one person, which was his intended target. So several lives were saved. The life of the girl in pink was saved, yet they refused to acknowledge that part, right? And they refuse to acknowledge the deaths of other black people who have died absolutely senselessly. Because guess what? As I've said before, and I'll say again, and I don't care if Kaysom Vern or anyone else gets pissed off about it. Black lives don't matter to the Black Lives Matter organization. Black deaths matter. Black deaths at the hands of white police officers matter to the BLM organization, but not black lives themselves. Because if they actually cared, they would tell the truth. And if they actually care, they would demand better. They would demand better from the black community. And they would advocate for better. They don't care. They don't care about black lives or anyone else's life. All they care about are buying their, you know, multiple homes across the, across the country like it's a real life monopoly. Oh yeah, I may not cover every story, but I hear it. Oh, do I ever hear it? That's what they care about. So, if you're a believer in the cause or the phrase, you might want to reconsider supporting the organization. Just saying. But anyway, that's the video. Please let me know what you think. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.